hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a seamless pattern or a repeating pattern in adobe illustrator you can use this seamless pattern or a repeating pattern on redbubble on printful on zazzle on uh, you know say teespring on any other most of the uh, you know print on demand platforms and marketplaces now this is not a completely design tutorial because I'm going to use already created design elements that I have downloaded from an online marketplace, a graphics marketplace. In one of my previous videos, I have talked about buying graphics versus hiring graphic designers for your print on demand business. And I've mentioned this platform in that video. You can check that out for detailed analysis regarding this. Now why I'm creating a design related tutorial here is that because it is the designs that sell on print on demand whether you are selling on redbubble zazzle teespring on much by amazon it is a design that sells so if you have some knowledge of creating some designs or uh, you know you can say manipulating the design arranging the design that is going to help you now this video is not uh, actually aimed at designers only if you do not have any knowledge of design or you do not have any drawing skills you can benefit from this video because in this video we are not going to create something from scratch so without any further delay let's get into it so this is the platform that i have mentioned in the video uh, regarding hiring graphic designers or buying graphics online for your print on demand business now the benefit of this platform is that their license allows you to use these elements in your print on demand business and sell as many products as you want now the graphic that i'm going to use is this one and uh, that is available in their freebie section and you can download it as well if it is still available in their freebie section because their freebie section allows certain graphics to be in this uh, you know downloaded free for a certain period of time and then you have to buy those graphics uh, if you have downloaded it for free you do not have to buy those graphics if you want to use them uh, in the future so that is the benefit of this platform is that if you have downloaded something free from their platform you can still use it for your print on demand business so i'm going to use these doodles and uh, uh, we are going to create seamless patterns that they already have created but we are not going to create the same thing we are going to use these elements and we are going to create something different something unique for our own purpose now i have opened their uh, downloaded file in this uh, adobe illustrator window and you can see that the elements there are a lot of elements that are actually provided in there in that bundle that i have just downloaded and i'm going not going to use all of them i'm just going to use a few of them now another thing that uh, you i would like to uh, tell you is that i'm not going to use that creating pattern feature of this adobe illustrator because i want to create it manually so that everybody can use it uh, it is going to be very basic very simple so if you are not familiar with design you will still be able to use it and get a seamless pattern from it and export it in the form of png and use it in any other print on demand platform with certain you can see modifications uh, that certain platforms require so for the purpose of this video let's create a new document and i'm just uh, going to create it in inches it doesn't matter uh, what will be the size of it but let's just say we are going to create a six by six inches i'm going to create a square uh, artwork uh, because in my opinion this can be easily uh, managed and easily understood you can uh, also create a rectangular shape graphic um, you know um, let's say a, a 10 inch width and six inch height that will still be okay because it will be a repeating pattern but for purpose of this video well, let's say uh, we want to um, keep the height and the width in the same uh, size so i have created a six inch by six inch graphic uh, blank graphic and i'm going to use these elements now i already told you that we are not going to draw anything so uh, don't worry about it so let's uh, use one of the face that is the santa's face and uh, another thing that we can use is this uh, stocking another thing that we can use uh, is this word christmas here and uh, i'm also going to use uh i think i'm going to use uh, uh let's use this flower and uh and let's also use uh snowflake from their uh, collection and uh, another thing we are going to use this decorative element 
let's say let's just choose this one the red one another thing we can use is that uh, uh, let's use this christmas tree so these are the few elements that i have collected i want to use it in my and uh, you know, repeat pattern or seamless pattern we can still add more elements and um, see if uh, we actually require that but for now let's just uh, stay with these and we can uh, just uh, scale these uh, you know to reduce their size while pressing the shift key so that the pro uh, so that the proportions remain the same it is not distorted so while pressing the shift key i'm going to scale them down and if i require in and you know later i will just uh, scale them up as well so let's uh, choose uh, this one at the center almost center here and then we are going to place these elements randomly so this is, is a bit big let's just reduce the size here and then we can go into uh, you know uh, press the alt key and then i'm going to drag it at the you know at the corner of this uh, of this artboard it doesn't matter where you place it but it should be at the corner now once it is placed at the corner now it is going beyond the edges of the this page you can say or the artboard now we do, we do not want to change its position once we fix the position that crosses the artboard you can say that goes beyond the artboard we do not want to change that position and because this this is where the repeating uh, feature of this pattern will uh, happen so I've copied it, but I just want to, you know, let's say, uh, uh, change its, you know, direction, and then I'm just going to reflect it, and uh, we can adjust it because it's still a single copy. We can adjust it here. Now, to create a different, slightly variation of the design. Uh, I have just uh, reversed its direction. Now I want to uh, copy it. I can go to edit, and then copy and then i'm going to edit and then paste in front what paste in front does is that it creates a copy of it and it places exactly over the previous image so it is not the same image it, it, it are, these are actually two copies so what can what should we do here is that we can just uh, move it uh, in and place it on the other side of this uh, artboard and we are going to place it exactly six inches towards the left side so i'm just going to create negative six because i want to move it six inches towards the left so i put the negative six direction uh, six inches direction and vertically we do not want to move it yet so i just uh, moved it towards the six inches in it now another thing that you do uh, you can do is that you don't have to go to the edit and copy and all that again and again you can select these elements and then transform and then move now again i want to move it at this uh, corner of this artboard and horizontally i'll just press zero because I, uh, there is no going to there is not going to be any horizontal movement here we just want to move it vertically six inches now six inches downward we want to move six inches so it will be pressed so downward it will be positive six inches and if you want to move upward it will be negative six inches so now we are going instead of clicking okay we are going to create a copy of it click copy and then it will create copy that will be six inches and downwards and it will be these all these four images are exactly at the corners and uh, once i create the seamless pattern you will be able to understand why i have as you know place them at the corners so again let's just uh, uh, resize these elements and uh, place it randomly here and there and uh, you know it is up to you how you can want to design it i just want to you know create some different elements placed here and there and then um, you know we'll just move them you can uh, this, uh, you can actually uh, um, place in, in place them in such location where it goes beyond a uh, certain you can say beyond the artboard or beyond the page of this document let's just uh, put christmas here and uh, like that and just move it here so uh, once you actually uh, place any object that is going beyond the page or you can say the edge of the your document or the edge of uh, your artboard the one thing that you ha always have to do is to 
copy it and place it in the opposite direction so as you can see that i have placed it here in this way i want to now copy it and place it uh, at the bottom of this to, uh, totally opposite to uh, to the direction where it is actually placed so again i'll just go to transform move and i want to move six inches below so horizontal there will be no change and then six inches and i want to press copy so once copy it will be copied here now i want to create certain copies of this snowflake and uh, place it and then rotate it randomly and certain locations and as you can see again i have placed it at a certain location where it is, it is going beyond the uh, you can say edge of the document again i'll just move it and then now i want to move in the opposite direction in the x-axis so i'll press minus six in the horizontal direction and vertically i don't want to move and then i press copy now it is copied now i have added some elements let's bring out some other elements that we can use here another tree that we can use is this one and uh, let's just scale it up here another thing we can uh, use is a uh, let's use this star shape we can place it here another copy of it we can create and then slightly change it in its direction let's place the star another star uh, let's place it here and change direction let's like uh, scale them and uh, you know it, it only dep uh, depends upon uh, how you want to place your elements there is no uh, limit to it let's use another few, uh, few other elements and uh, let's say let's use this decorative piece and uh, let's scale it up and then just just uh, place it here and slightly towards the edge and scale it down and then we are going to create copy of it and move it in the uh, right there now i'm going to move the in the right direction so i'll just press six not the negative six because i'm moving towards the right and vertically there is no movement so i'll just press zero and then create a copy of it uh, i think there is one snowflake that should be placed here and i'll just decrease its size and it is placed here and uh, another thing that we can actually bring here is this heart shape uh yeah we can bring this heart shape here and uh, you know try to it's not going uh, we are not going to try to use all the elements we are just going to try to use something that will be helpful or you can say that will make our pattern uh, a little bit beautiful I think that is all uh, that I require and I'm not going to add any more elements or change in the position of these elements. Uh, let's uh, go to the layers and you can see each and every element is actually in a separate group. There are different groups. They are not, uh, uh, you know, managed in a single group. We can do is that press control A and we select all of these and then uh, we can right click and then group these elements what grouping does is that now when we click one of the elements all of these are selected because they are now in the same group now go to the layers panel and then let's hide this group and now create a square shape Just use this uh, rectangle tool and create a six inches by six inches square now we are going to place this square in the artboard you can actually align it horizontal and vertically and it will fit your artboard clearly now we don't want to use any fill color and uh, then do not want to use any stroke color so uh, you just cross it out here and then go to layers panel and bring this rectangular uh, shape below the actual group now uh, you can unhide the actual uh, design elements now select both of these elements and go to these swatches here if the swatches is not visible you can go to windows and then uh, at the bottom you will be able to see these swatches and you can create here now you can drag it here and then it will be a repeat pattern so now you have created a repeat pattern and a new swatch is created let's test this out and i'm just going to hide this layer and create a new layer and let's just say we can create anything you know let's just uh, uh, create any shape here 
and uh, it, as you can see that the shape is going beyond the artboard and it doesn't matter i just want to test the uh, peat pattern that i have just created so i can just uh, go to swatches and plus uh, this new pattern and you can see the pattern is actually filled uh, the shape is actually filled with the pattern now this swatch is going to help you create um, uh, pattern of any size whether you are using any teespring template or you are using it for your uh, red bubble uh, any template for example a line dresses those skirts or anything that uh, anything that uh, that is bigger than the size of this six by six inches you can still create those products using this swatch pattern and uh, you are not limited to you know the actual size of these elements you can uh, once the pattern is collected created you can right click and then transform and then scale so scaling uh, you can uh, if i just you know want to reduce the size of these elements i can just say uh, just reduce it by 60 percent and then preview it now you can see that the actual size have reduced that is because this transform object is also clicked so if i uncheck this uh, transform objects it only scales the pattern it will keep the size of the you can say the shape or the artwork itself while the pattern or the design over it will be reduced and this is going to help you create those airline dresses those um, all over print type of shirts and um, dresses on red bubble and for tree spring now i can scale it uh, down as much as i want and uh, you know use it on my uh, red bubble um, products or teespring products or on zazzle and uh, anything else so once the pattern is created uh, you can export that pattern in the form of png and let me show you how now this is the shape that i've created is not exactly six by six inches what i can do is that i can create a six by six i can create a six by six inches of the you know square shape and uh, the pattern is already applied if the pattern is you can let's say the pattern is not actually applied on it we can again apply it and then export this one this image as a png image or if you don't want to use it you can go to the previous one the pattern that you have created just this one without creating any swatch and you can actually export this one as png image and then you can use it uh, for your own print on demand purpose so you see how easy it is to actually create these patterns in adobe illustrator we have not drawn anything there are no drawing skills needed and you can use these elements that you have downloaded from online marketplace either you have downloaded it free or you have purchased these and you can rearrange those elements in your own way in your own likeness and created something new and you can use these patterns to sell uh, all over print products to sell all over print bags so, uh, and, you, and uh, you can see clothing and also you can uh, sell these on uh, spoon flower and zazel to create uh, custom fabrics or custom wrapping papers and uh, custom pillows so and these are the, the opportunities of uh, these seamless patterns are actually limitless for your print on demand business and that is why i wanted to show you that it is super easy to create these seamless patterns you do not need any extensive knowledge of uh, you know uh, vector editing software or you can say graphics editing softwares in my future videos i am going to show you how you can create this same type of seamless pattern using a photoshop and also inkscape so if you are not going to buy adobe subscription uh, you can use free vector uh, graphics editing software that is inkscape and still create these seamless patterns and use the elements that you have purchased online uh, using the platform that i have mentioned i will put the link of that uh, platform in the description below so you can check that platform and buy graphics at a very low cost so that was all for now if you have any questions regarding this video you can ask me in the comments and if you have found this video to be helpful make sure that you like the video and if you are interested in earning decent living through print on demand through any online method that i have myself experienced and i'm going to experience in the future you can subscribe to my channel because on this channel i'm going to share all the knowledge that i will get um, being on this journey on this path so if you are on the same path you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well and thank you for watching